Hi YouTubers, this is a follow-up video for what I had mentioned before. Uh, so, one of the common problems that you may run into, the DJI drone, the battery, is that if they completely discharge their LiPo batteries, you can read more about them online, if they completely discharge, this charger here is not going to start charging them. As a result, you will end up probably with a broken battery or a useless battery, but in all reality, what this needed was a small kick to start to get going. So what I did is uh, I used my power supply unit, a PSU, an old PSU that I had. Um, I set it to, I first of all, it's 2200 milliamps, you know, so it takes a while to charge. It was, I think, somewhere I saw the full capacity of the battery. It has three cells. So... Uh, what I did is I set my power supply unit at 3 amps and then I waited for it to charge up to the point that it go to 11 volts because that's the total thing of all three cells. So I think what happened was at the same time, you know, when, while, the, while the power supply unit was providing, you know, um, electricity to the battery, it revived the cells, the battery, the voltage has got, had gone basically very low. I used the voltometer and had dropped a lot. So I figured, you know, why don't I just give it a kick? I had a similar thing with a Nokia in the past, a Nokia device, um, which had a battery that had a similar problem. So I figured, you know, I might as well just try to kickstart it. And it seems that I revived it. Um, I'm giving it some time to charge now. Uh, I recommend you guys get a few more. I got two more from Amazon the other day. This battery only gives you about 10 minutes of flight time. The next mod that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cascade all three of them into the drone and hopefully it won't affect a lot flight time or performance. I'll have to experiment with that because I do want to get about 